Cypher's trying to get his back slot for his girlfriend. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Zoo's like, no. Wait, are we live yet? Yes, Matt. Good lord, man. Go, go play Clan Arena. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> alright, alright. Game faces, guys. Let, let's get this done. Uh, as we're currently waiting to see if uh, Cypher's girlfriend will be able to get a spec slot on the server. Dun dun dun! All right, that's gonna be no. That's gonna be yeah. big fat no. Yeah. All right. Welcome to Quake Live TV, folks. This is Grease Scotsman, and I'm joined with my co-host Jahar. Also have a couple of other QLTV Yo. staffers, Fishsticks, and Mapcom with me. And uh, we are about to get a little bit of Intel Extreme Masters European style underway. And this is going to be play date number three, I believe. We're going to be able to bring a couple of matches your way. Uh, right now, we're going to be bringing you Cypher versus Xrebzy, which, of course, he's he's the master of, of aliases and alternate nicknames. But uh, Xrebzy is currently sporting the Q-Rebo tag. So... Uh, you know, uh, he may get a little bit of an interesting uh, name tag treatment today based on uh, how quickly my mouth is running, but but that is who that is. Um, of course, uh, Cypher, well-known in the Quake Live community, uh, probably one of the best uh, rocketers in the game. I mean, his Cypher's rockets are things of legend. And we're going to go live, um, so I guess Jahar, why don't you take us away in three? One. Absolutely, I was just getting over the whole rockers bit, but Q Rebo straight off the bat with the red armor spawn, and Cypher's gonna grab LG, moving over to Mega Health and getting the rocket launcher spawn. So a pretty standard start so far, but look at this, Cypher's gonna be grabbing a railgun right off the bat, RJing he, he from did the bridge, this. so he wanted first dibs on that. Yeah, but honestly, it, he did this, um, shit, what was it, uh, I can't remember what... What the recent thing was, it, was it dream hack where he doesn't go for the yellow right off the bat. Uh, depending on, on the spawn that he gets, he gets the RL and takes away the railgun from his opponent. I mean, it's a really interesting start. It leaves him right. without armor for that opening, you know, 30 seconds. But the time he saves but look allows at him how many to... Weapons he has. Exactly. It allows him to control the weapons. Now, it does usually put him out of, of the red armor fight, but in this case, I think... Yeah, okay, he's just looking to do damage. Although he moves yeah, in. Look at this. Right. Look at this move. Oh, wow. And uh, Xrebzy cuts him down. Nice, nice move there. I mean, th that is sort of the risk to it. You know, if, if you get caught off on the red, you know, pressing in is usually very risky. And you can see how Cypher approached that fight. Um, but then he saw an opening and uh, and decided, okay, well, let me, let me see if I can... Let me see if I can go for it. You know, I see an opening. I see a lane to that red, but... Xrebzy's uh, LG was far superior. So he's picked up a second frag, and I think uh, Cypher's not quite, uh, wasn't quite expecting this, this challenge. On the other hand, xrebzy has been playing quite well. I saw him on uh, ESL's uh, Quake Day uh, coverage they did last week, I guess it was, and uh, I was kind of surprised at, at how well he did. Yeah, he, he did pretty well against Samus. So we'll see here. Well, Cypher has yeah. definitely been being really ballsy, and that was really a risk versus reward maneuver, and unfortunately he got the lower end of that, but I can't absolutely blame him for that. But right now, Key Rebo, I'm sorry, I'm going to just use that alias. This now one. he's got just this total stack right now. He's got everything but grenades and nice. MSG, and he's just going to be laying <laughs> waste into Cypher right now. So three frags ahead, only two minutes in. Cypher's going to need to change up his ballsiness a little bit here in order to get some of the stack back. Yeah, really, really nice play by XGZ. Yeah. Now, now Cypher, I think what he was hoping to do there was, you know, use the plasma to burn off some of that stack. This is, that's kind of a weird move by Cypher. Um, I, there was no reason for him to be at that mega, because um, now he's lost out on yellow. And so map control, I mean, this is DM6 after all. Map control will be XGZ's, unless Cypher can do amazing rockets, and they're just not happening. Uh, XGZ has this for probably the next, you know, minute maybe a minute and a half, um, you know, the, the only thing, if you take a look at the respawn timers, the only trade that's going to happen is going to be, you know, mega for yellow, but who gives a shit? I mean, yeah, 50 armor after taking a rocket to the face. I mean, let's go take a look at, at Cypher. 
you know, he's, he's up at 50-50. Uh, and that's a free RA. And actually an offset timing here by actually... And he's got nothing this. really but LG. Yeah. So, hopefully like Cypher, you know, he's... not taking his competition seriously here. Maybe, he's maybe. He's had so many unfavorable positions, which he's just charged head first into. And it, I think he's just, uh, you know, kind of betting that his aim is going to be good enough to pull him through. But, you know, Quert, Crate, Krebo, x Z, whatever you want to call him, has been right on time for all the items. And his aim's been right on point as well. So, Cypher's really going to go down a again here. That's a 0-7 to seven lead for Krebo. Yeah, Cypher yeah. was getting, getting tracked up the stairs by the LG there. He was going for the, the RA steal, but he was early there, ended up paying the price, and even worse, the RA spawned just as he died. So he didn't even get the, the steal. And he's another kill. Yeah he, yeah, he doesn't have the timing on red. He shows up early, and if you put him down, I'm going to quickly enable accuracy. Somehow that bond got erased. Because I want to see this LG. Uh, it's 25% and 50% rail for Xrebzy right now. Um, but quite frankly, you know, he's he's definitely hitting his LG um, when it happens. But, you know, Cypher isn't really stacking up. Again, Cypher early, so he's going to take a lot of front damage. He does pick up red, but he's not going to get out of here with his life. Yeah, so, yeah. so the loose timing here by Cypher is really, really costing him. And now nine frags down, uh, working with the goose egg at the halfway point. Um, you know, I, I think that, that Cypher will probably get his head in the game for the next map, um, but this one... Now, hold on. Yeah, one, one goes red. down on stack, red is up. This could yeah. turn things around right here, but nine frags is a heady lead to be coming back against. Yeah, we're gonna actually we're gonna watch Cipher. We've been watching Reebsy for the uh, entire first half. We're gonna watch Cipher because, like you said, this is sort of his way back into the game. Now he's not making a press for Yellow, and he needs to be careful about positioning. He should get this Mega. We just saw Yellow picked up by Reebsy, so this is the opportunity. He spots Reebsy going into Red. Cipher, actually, yeah, this is a nice move by Cipher because he, he's locked Reebsy out, and a nice strong position. So, yeah, he's been basically been able to deny Xrebzy doing a lot of damage uh, from long range. Nice nice shot there, though. That's another one, and oh. Cypher's going to fall to his death. Great rails. Good uh, lord. I was going to say, he's, he's a little over-eager with this frag right here. He decided to go across the pillars with a not-so-great position there and not-so-great stack. So he was over-eager there, and gravity had the final word. Now he's got an even longer way to come back to even and get on to the positive side of this and it's been real once again, so he's out his he's somewhat done. control over the items is just totally lost here yeah yeah and you know that that initial that initial sort of aggression by a cypher he's done here too he's lucky to not get shot in the foot nice anticipation by exrebsy and cypher will die here oh my oh goodness my for God. hell wow yeah, that, that was really ballsy, but you know, again, he's just back to zero, and with three minutes left to go... Right. Yeah. Now, the one bonus yeah, he's here is that... way more gung-ho than here than you would expect the down player to be. He's pretty much showing up at pretty much every item, whether or not he's got the stack. Sure, he's just trying to do damage, but it's just been costing him more than helping him out at this point. Yeah, I mean, I wonder if maybe Cypher is, is maybe kind of testing out a very aggressive uh, play style because he really has never slowed this thing down. And he just lost Mega. He's dead. Oof. Oh my god. <laughs> nice. <Wow. laughs> I'm actually really surprised that XVP didn't land a rocket exactly where Cypher was standing. I mean, that was kind of the obvious thing. Uh, in order to protect yourself uh, as you go up the jump pad. Could take him out. Oh, well. All right. So, you know, still, though, eight frags separate. So uh, we're seeing some amazing play from Cypher, and so I think the next map's going to be great. But, uh, you know, eight frags, two minutes. Hmm. Possible.